Seidman has been a member of the New Jersey General Assembly since 2002 and has been Deputy Speaker since 2008. He is Chairman of the Assembly Education Committee. With, redistrict, with redistricting, lucky us, he will be representing Highland Park in the Assembly. Assemblyman Dagnan is a primary sponsor of the Assembly Bill that would require local voter approval for charter schools. Please welcome Senator Patrick Dagnan. Hard to just say. Uh, I'm just kidding. Um, I was just telling Jimmy Polis, your favorite son, you know I'm a religious guy and I pray before I go to sleep every night and I thank God for the good things in my life. Thank God I am now representing Highland Park. You are just, you are just, and Charlotte and Sam, um, just, I mean, you summed it up. There's very little left to say after that. And, and Deborah's experience in East Brunswick. You know, so many times it's difficult to talk about an issue in the hypothetical. But the East Brunswick experience is exactly why we decided to sponsor this bill. And that is why it is so important to you here in Highland Park to be cutting programs at the public school while you're simultaneously using tax dollars to support a quote-unquote boutique charter school is just contrary to what this country is all about. The public school system is the foundation of opportunity in the United States of America. And, and that, is, that is not exaggerating. I, I tell this example all the time. Both my parents are immigrants. My mom and dad, my dad went to seventh grade. My mom never even got that far. If it wasn't for the opportunity of a public education, I would not be here today. To be cutting into it, which is what is going on now, with the agenda that we all know is taking place, is not good for America. And the good news is, the good news is that these bills absolutely positively have life and support. It is, the bill has gotten through the Assembly Education Committee that I am fortunate enough to share, to chair, and I am expecting, expecting that before we leave next week, we will have passed these bills out of the Assembly. And you have my commitment, you have my commitment that this is the number one priority for Pete, Barber, and I, we will do whatever we can to make this law, and hopefully, when it reaches the governor's desk, hopefully, when it reaches the governor's desk, he will realize that giving citizens a voice in important things like educating their children furthers democracy, strengthens the process, does not destroy it, is so counterintuitive, and I am hopeful and expect that he will sign it into law. Believe me, we will keep on fighting, but you keep on fighting. It's really an honor to represent you. Thank you, Assemblyman. And now I would like to represent our other Assemblyman, Peter Barnes. He's been the 